Hello, uh, now we are going to show you basically how to integrate these two approaches to um, design your test cases. So, because we have this one that is based on the specification, another one that basically try to get a coverage of the code. So, one is coverage of the specification to try to identify which what are the relevant inputs given the, the specification. The other one is try to exercise the code so that you touch every command or uh, every branch and, and, and so on. But the point is that when you do testing, what really is, um, what should be really your focus is to use your testing effort in the best cost-benefit relation, in the sense that you don't have infinite time to testing. That's that's what always happens. So we need to spend your testing, so you spend your time testing where it's more relevant, okay? So what I'm gonna show you is that you can write the tests using um, the specification first, so using a black box approach. Then you run the tests and with the tool that we're gonna show you that shows you the coverage, you look at the, uh, which parts of the code are touched in terms of which methods, which branches, which commands, which statements. And afterwards, you see which parts are relevant. So you see if there are some tests that are missing. So there are, so if there are parts of the code that are not being exercised, and you, as a domain expert, okay, you really know what is relevant to test. So this is basically, the tool tells you, oh, this part is not being tested. And you look at this part and says, okay, this is not relevant to spend time testing this because Okay, there are, can be several reasons why you, you, you do not need to test it. Of course, if you have infinite time, you're going to test it. But you never have infinite time to test a, a program, right? It's, testing is always a, a matter of the probability of uh, not having bugs, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to show you is how, what you need to configure in uh, IntelliJ. So, you go to Preferences. And in preferences, you have an option in build execution deployment called coverage. And in this option, you have show options. You, you, you just click, you choose these, oh, these options here, you check there and check there, okay? You need to do that. The second thing you need to do is in, in run, you basically go to edit configurations. And edit configurations, what you're gonna do, you should choose the code coverage, and use IntelliJ ID. Do not use Jakob or an EMA, okay? So you use IntelliJ ID, and then choose tracing, because basically tracing, the difference between sampling and tracing is basically, uh, tracing collects more data, so it takes more time. But okay, I'm, I'm using tracing because I don't have uh, one million lines of code, okay? So I can do it. So then I choose with package I want to test, I, I want to, to observe, okay? And which are the, the our old packages in Tutor, okay? And I think it's, it's enough, so I just do it. And then I come here and I run the tests using run all tests with coverage, okay? And they start running, okay? And now it's gonna take a little bit, so See you, see you in a while. I'll be back soon. Okay, it's starting now. So the 100 tests finish running, and now you have the, the data about uh, what is the coverage. So we can see it here, for instance. For instance, um, for the administration, that is the part we have been I've been implementing in these, uh, for these videos. We see that I have 50% of class coverage, 70% of method coverage, 90% of line coverage, and 100% of branch coverage. Okay, and then I can just see this code. And what is the difference? Well, we don't have tests for the controller. Okay, so we only have tests for the service. Why that? So this is not tested. Okay, and so you see this red. So this is never executed. But if I go to the service, I will see that most of it, okay? So this service actually 
everything is executed. And if I try to see what happens inside the domain objects, so for instance, in the if I try, if I do, go, go there, create, and then new course execution in the constructor. So this is the course execution, and I see that what is not covered. Basically, I do I never do a set ID. I never do a set acronym. So you are, you see which parts of the code are not being uh, invoked, okay? And you can have this view as well if you open it there, okay? So so you have it here. So that that's that's um, nice uh, in the sense that um, you write your code, your tests. When you write your tests, actually, if you think we have been writing our tests, and I've been doing. Uh, Basic. I've been looking in terms of, uh, if you look at this, uh, in, t in terms of um, the specification, okay? What are the types of inputs, some type of partitioning of the, the, the inputs, okay? The space of the inputs, and I define that. But, but then, it's really nice to use these tools to see if there are parts of the code that not exercised, okay? And then, you, looking at it, you may decide where I'm going to spend time, okay? Remember the important uh, message. Testing is a process where you try to use your testing time the best way, the best possible way. Why? Because test, tests cannot demonstrate your program has no bugs. Tests only can give you some confidence about the quality of it. So you don't have infinite time. Just try to use the time you have for testing the best way. Okay. Okay, thank you and uh, good work.